Vina del Mar, a coastal city in Chile, known for its beaches, gardens, and vibrant culture, a popular tourist destination. In 2024, tragedy struck. Wildfires fueled by strong winds and dry conditions swept through the city. Homes were destroyed, lives were lost, the city was scarred. The fires started on the outskirts of Vina del Mar. They quickly spread, driven by the wind. The flames raced through neighborhoods, engulfing everything in their path. Residents had little time to react. Many fled with only the clothes on their backs. The scale of the disaster was immense. Thousands of homes were reduced to rubble. Entire neighborhoods were wiped out. The air was thick with smoke. The smell of burning lingered for days. The once beautiful city was now a scene of devastation. Firefighters and emergency services worked tirelessly, battling the relentless flames day and night. Their efforts were heroic, but the fire was unforgiving. Community shelters were set up to house the displaced. Volunteers from all over the country came to help, providing food, clothing, and comfort to those who had lost everything. The city streets were filled with emergency vehicles, and the sky was a constant haze of smoke. The once bustling city had come to a standstill. Stories of survival and loss emerged. Families shared their harrowing experiences, recounting the moments they had to leave their homes behind, not knowing if they would ever return. As the fires were finally brought under control, the focus shifted to rebuilding. The community came together, determined to restore what had been lost. Construction workers began the arduous task of clearing debris and laying the foundations for new homes. Government officials visited the site, promising aid and support. Plans were made to ensure that such a disaster would not happen again, with new measures to prevent and combat wildfires. Amidst the devastation, there were signs of hope. Children played in temporary shelters, and the community's resilience shone through. The spirit of Vina del Mar was unbroken. A memorial was held for the victims of the wildfires. The community gathered to remember those who had been lost and to support one another in their grief. Slowly but surely, new homes began to rise from the ashes. The city of Vina del Mar was on the path to recovery, with a renewed sense of purpose and unity. The panoramic view of Vina del Mar began to change once more, this time with signs of rebuilding and hope. The city was determined to rise again, stronger and more resilient than ever before. Community events were organized to bring people together, fostering a sense of solidarity and shared purpose. The people of Vina del Mar were united in their efforts to rebuild their beloved city. As the sun set over Vina del Mar, it symbolized a new beginning. The city, though scarred, was filled with hope and determination. The flames had tested their spirit, but they had emerged stronger, ready to face the future together. Chile had been experiencing a severe drought for several years. The once lush landscapes had turned barren, and the riverbeds had dried up, leaving behind cracked earth and a sense of desolation. The arid conditions were a stark reminder of the changing climate and its impact on the environment. Vegetation was dry and highly flammable. The plants, which once thrived in the fertile soil, now stood parched and brittle. The dry grass and shrubs were like tinder, ready to ignite at the slightest spark. This created a highly volatile situation, where any small fire could quickly escalate into a major blaze. The summer had been unusually hot. Temperatures soared to record highs, creating a sweltering heat wave that gripped the region. The relentless sun beat down, baking the earth and further drying out the already parched vegetation. It was a recipe for disaster, as the extreme heat made the environment even more susceptible to wildfires. Strong winds exacerbated the situation. The gusts were relentless, whipping through the landscape and fanning the flames. Trees swayed violently, and the wind howled, creating an eerie and ominous atmosphere. The combination of dry conditions, high temperatures, and strong winds was a perfect storm for a wildfire. Gusts of wind carried embers, spreading the fire far and wide. The embers, like tiny fireballs, were lifted into the air and carried over long distances. They landed on dry vegetation, igniting new fires and causing the blaze to spread rapidly. The wind-driven embers turned the wildfire into an uncontrollable inferno. The flames jumped from house to house, from neighborhood to neighborhood. The fire showed no mercy, consuming everything in its path. Homes that had stood for generations were reduced to ashes in a matter of minutes. The wildfire spread with a ferocity that left little time for residents to react. Firebreaks proved ineffective against the wind-driven inferno. 
Firefighters worked tirelessly to create barriers to stop the fire's advance, but the strong winds rendered their efforts futile. The flames leaped over the firebreaks, continuing their relentless march. The firefighters faced an uphill battle against the elements. The speed of the fire was terrifying. It moved with a velocity that was hard to comprehend, devouring everything in its path. The rapid spread of the fire left little time for evacuation, and many residents found themselves in a race against time to escape the advancing flames. Residents described walls of flames advancing towards their homes. The sight was both awe-inspiring and terrifying. People watched in horror as the fire approached, knowing that their homes and possessions were at risk. The sense of urgency and fear was palpable as they fled to safety. The roar of the fire was deafening. The intense flames created a sound that was both mesmerizing and frightening. The heat was intense, radiating from the fire and making it difficult to get close. The wildfire was a force of nature, powerful and unstoppable. The smoke choked the air, making it difficult to breathe. The thick, acrid smoke filled the sky, turning day into night. People struggled to breathe, their lungs burning from the toxic fumes. The smoke created a hazardous environment, adding another layer of danger to an already dire situation. Panic gripped the city as the fire approached. Residents scrambled to evacuate. Their escape routes choked with traffic. Many were forced to abandon their vehicles and flee on foot. Stories of survival and loss emerged from the chaos. A young couple, newly married, lost their dream home but escaped with their lives. An elderly woman, unable to flee, was rescued by her neighbors just in time. Tragically, not everyone was so lucky. Families were separated in the chaos. Some lost loved ones in the fire. The human toll of the disaster was heartbreaking. Firefighters worked tirelessly to contain the blaze. They faced overwhelming odds. The fire was unpredictable, fueled by the wind and dry conditions. Resources were stretched thin. Firefighters from neighboring cities and regions rushed to help. They worked day and night battling exhaustion and despair. Their bravery and dedication saved countless lives and homes. Despite their best efforts, the fire raged on. It took days to bring the blaze under control. The firefighters' courage and sacrifice will never be forgotten. Section 5, A City in Ruins, The Aftermath of the Disaster The once thriving city of Vina del Mar now lay in shambles, a stark reminder of the wildfire's ferocity. The landscape, once filled with life and vibrancy, was now a haunting tableau of charred remains and smoldering ruins. The fire left a trail of destruction in its wake. The lush forests that once surrounded the city were reduced to blackened stumps, and the air was thick with the acrid smell of smoke. The devastation was not just limited to the natural environment, the urban areas bore the brunt of the fire's wrath. Thousands of homes were destroyed. Families who had lived in these neighborhoods for generations found themselves homeless overnight. The sense of community that once bound these residents together was now replaced by a shared sense of loss and despair. Businesses were burned to the ground. The local economy, which relied heavily on these small enterprises, was in tatters. Store owners stood helplessly by, watching their livelihoods go up in flames, knowing that recovery would be a long and arduous process. Schools, hospitals, and other essential infrastructure were damaged. The places that served as pillars of the community were now unusable, leaving residents without access to basic services. The local hospital, which had been a beacon of hope and health, was now a shell of its former self. The air quality was hazardous. Thick smoke hung in the air, making it difficult to breathe. Residents were forced to wear masks to protect themselves from the harmful particles. The once clear skies were now a perpetual haze, a constant reminder of the disaster. The smell of smoke permeated everything. It clung to clothes, seeped into homes, and lingered in the air. The pervasive odor was a constant reminder of the fire's destruction, making it impossible for residents to escape the memory of what had happened. The streets were covered in ash and debris. Every corner of the city was littered with the remnants of what once was. The cleanup effort would be monumental, requiring time, resources, and a collective effort from the entire community. The once vibrant city was now a ghost town. The bustling streets filled with the sounds of daily life were now eerily silent. The absence of people and activity was a stark contrast to the city's former liveliness, creating an unsettling atmosphere. The emotional toll on residents was immense. The trauma of losing homes, possessions, and a sense of security weighed heavily on everyone.